Dr. Tanya Kardash, who is the medical director at the Maccabi Healthcare Services. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Uh, has something gone wrong in Israel? I don't think so. I think we're, um, we're seeing the results of people having gone abroad during the summer, bringing in new variants and also the waning, um, the waning efficacy of the, vi of the vaccination program, which we started earlier than other countries. So we've got to the point where the vaccines were six months, seven months ago before other countries in the world have. I thought Israel was actually pushing ahead as it did with its initial uh, round of vaccinations. Uh, it was almost setting a precedent for the rest of the world and something for the rest of the world to aim at in terms yeah. of boosters. But does it mean that 61 to 63 percent of a population being fully vaccinated simply means you're nowhere near herd immunity? Well, I'm not an epidemiologist and there are questions which you would need to ask them. I'm, I'm the director of the, one of the regions of Maccabi. Now, of course, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, an illness and a vaccination um, that we're learning as we go along. Now, because we started these vaccination programs before other countries in the world, we're the first to hit up with it, hit up with the, with the need and the realization that we need to vaccinate more. I mean, what we know from previous vaccines is 65% plus isn't enough to get to herd immunity. Um, but we're also seeing the waning efficacy of the vaccine and the need for a booster after six months. If Israel follows what's happened in Scotland, it looks as if case numbers are going to go up quite significantly. I mean, I think Scottish schools opened about two to three weeks ago and very quickly the country was recording record numbers of new infections. I would expect that there will be an increase in cases. Um, but what's important, and I think the difference to us in Scotland at the moment, is um, the school is starting um, following basically the start of our vaccination programme a few weeks ago. So um, at the same point as maybe the numbers of the school children, um, the numbers of cases going up, we are already making sure that the older population, the more vulnerable population, has been um, protected. And as you said previously, this may be a way of ensuring that we get to herd immunity because there are, of course, the children under 12 who at the moment um, we can't vaccinate. Um, so as long as it's a mild illness in these children who aren't um, with health complications, that's another way of getting to herd immunity. Uh, what's the experience of Maccabi Healthcare Services in terms of patients who are coming in with COVID-19 and the Delta variant of the disease? OK, well, what we're seeing with people, um, of course, is a there's a difference between those who are vaccinated and those who aren't vaccinated. Those who aren't vaccinated are the ones who we're finding um, need hospital admission and are the cases which are severe and even sometimes the illness is life threatening. We're also seeing, though, that those people who have been vaccinated, even the older populations, are generally um, having a mild, um, a mild illness, a mild course of illness. What we're also seeing in the tests on 1.3 million patients that we vaccinated until now, we've seen that once they've had the booster vaccine, from a week following the booster vaccine, they've got a relative 86% more protection than those who haven't been vaccinated with the booster shot. Uh, finally, what's your understanding of the percentage of uh, the total population that's been fully vaccinated? Do you think the country is going to hit a plateau because uh, those who are not happy with putting these substances in their bodies will just keep saying, no, we don't want it. But what's the plateau that the country needs to reach accounting for a certain percentage who probably might never have a vaccination? Um I'm, again, I'm not an epidemiologist, and I think also herd immunity. Um, the problem with herd immunity and what we know so far of the COVID is the rate with which it mutates. Um, so we're talking about something that because these new variants are coming along quite quickly and taking over, it's actually reducing um, the value of the herd immunity long term. I agree with you, we are probably are at a plateau effect. Now, the country is trying to do... Um, other programs and ways of encouraging people to go out to be vaccinated. Um, the green passport, which people has, is now going to become invalid as of next month if you haven't had corona or a booster shot in the last six months. But as you say, we will get to a plateau effect where those people who don't believe in vaccination programs won't be vaccinated. And the only way that they'll have immunity is if they themselves um, actually get ill with coronavirus. Dr. Tanya Kardash, thank you so much indeed.